G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of the PC Setup Showdown. We have three brand new setups for you guys, Will, Howard and Haz. Last week's winner was a tight one, but in the end, Zach ended up winning. Zach, we will contact you by email, so keep an eye out for that. Remember guys, each week we do feature three PCs or three setups on the channel no matter what it looks like for your chance of winning a prize. So if you guys would like to enter, check the link and video link down in the description below to find out how to enter. I will also leave all of the specs down in the description below for each participant if you guys want to go check out their specs. And remember to leave your vote for your favorite PC or setup down in the comments below. So let's get into episode three of the PC Setup Showdown. Consider checking out Cooler Master's new line of MWE power supplies for your next PC build. They feature a clean, sleek design with options for both non-modular and modular, a flat cable design, and five years warranty. The quality Japanese capacitors and gold efficiency power delivery ensures the longevity of your PC hardware. For more details and where to purchase, check the links in the video description. Our first submission is from Will. He calls this project Zen Dragon and what a beast it is. For the specs, he's using the Thermaltake Core P3, the MSI X370 Pro Carbon motherboard paired with the Ryzen 7 8800X CPU. His graphics is certainly on another level, rocking the MSI GTX 1080 Ti gaming graphics card. For the RAM, he has 32 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance RGB, six terabytes of hard drive storage, and a 500 gigabyte Samsung M.2 960 SSD as his main boot drive. The custom work on this project is excellent. A custom water loop, keeping all of the components nice and cool, red and black cable sleeving to match the overall color palette, custom fan grills with the MSI Dragon in the center, and custom stickers on the power supply. From what I can see, the PC looks to have only a 240 millimeter radiator, if this PC is used for gaming or heavy loads, I'd probably considering upgrading to a 360mm radiator and attaching the pump res combo to the bottom fan on the radiator. I believe EK Wardlocks might actually sell mounts for this as well. But apart from that, I do not see anything else to really fault. The true runs are clean, the color palette is consistent, and overall I think it's a fantastic job. Thank you for entering, Will. Our second submission is from Howard and he has named his project Lightsaber. For the specs, he's using an Inwin 303 case, the ASUS Z170 Gen8 motherboard, paired with the i5-7600K CPU at 4.7 GHz. The graphics is powered by the NVIDIA GTX 1080. For the RAM, he says he's using 20 GB of memory, three 4 GB sticks, and one 8 GB sticks. More on that soon. He's done some major custom work to achieve efficient cooling, Three triple 360mm radiators with one mounted to the top of the case due to the lack of space. He has red and black sleeved cables and LED lighting throughout, helping the UV reactive liquid to glow. I was a little confused with the RAM selection. Usually a PC would not work properly or would run into issues down the line if different RAM is used with different speeds and timings and sizes, etc. Assuming they are all the same specs, then we run into the issues of making sure each channel has a matching capacity. However, I do not know as much about your PC as you do, so if it is working fine, then that's a good thing. With the LED lighting, I'd like to try and neaten it up a little bit more. I noticed the strip down in the bottom right corner is not stuck in place, and I'll try and run that along the edge for a cleaner look. The 24 pin could use some cable combs, but apart from that, I love this build. There's excellent use of space and creativity, perfect tube runs, and an overall clean design. Thank you very much, Howard, for entering. Our third and final submission is from Haz. He calls his project Mutated Alien. For the specs, he's using an Alienware case, the stock Alienware Aurora R4 motherboard, paired with a Core i7 at 4.1 gigahertz. The graphics, he says, is a one gigabyte AMD GPU, and from the picture, I'd say something like a Radeon HD 7850 or something similar. For the RAM, he's using 16 gigabytes of DDR3, one terabyte of hard drive storage, and a four terabyte external hard drive. 
For the custom work, he kept it nice and clean, gorgeous matching sleeved cables, custom water cooling with UV reactive coolant, and lots of LED lighting. The space in the case was used up very wisely, and the only faults that I could give was different fans used throughout the build. The fan wires up the top, if they could be routed to the back of the case and then travel down, that would look cleaner. And if the budget is there, I would consider investing in a nice GPU backplate. Apart from that, excellent build has, and thank you for entering. So there you have it guys, episode three of the PC Setup Showdown. Make sure to vote for your favorite down in the comments below. Howard, Will, or Has. I'll leave all of their parts lists in the description below if you guys want to check out the specs. And of course, if you would like to enter, remember I leave the entry video down in the description so you can find out on how to enter the series. I hope you all enjoyed guys. Remember to visit more videos on the channel just like this one. Lots of custom PCs, reviews, water cooling tutorials, and much more. And consider checking out our Patreon. Your support is greatly appreciated guys. We, we really do appreciate it. Hope you all enjoyed and we'll see you all next week for another PC setup showdown.